Well, hello everybody, it's Rose, and I am coming to you from London, Ontario, and I have a different kind of unboxing today. Today I am doing an unboxing of something called Craft Optics. So these are a set of eyeglasses with magnifying lenses that I found when I was looking online for uh, magnifying lenses because I tried the drugstore readers. They don't really work for me. Uh, it just, I don't know, just doesn't work for me. And I did get some magnifying lenses from AliExpress, uh, the kind that you, they come with about five or six different strengths of readers. And so that's what I've been using for about the last six months or so, but they're not ideal either. And so I thought, you know what, now I know that I'm serious about diamond painting and that this is something that I spend a lot of time doing. And just like I'm not um, afraid to spend a little bit of money on my craft in terms of buying canvases, I also buy good equipment. And so I decided my eyes and my enjoyment of my craft were worth spending some money on some good equipment. So I'm uh, going to get into this. Now I will tell you I did open this because I wanted to make sure that everything was here, that it was correct, and it is. So I'm just sort of reopening it for you, okay? So it comes in a box like this, says handle with care. They put the Canada Customs um, duty, uh, well there was no duty paid because there's no uh, competing company in Canada. This comes from a company in Wisconsin and um, there is no competing provider of this product in Canada, so there are no customs duties. It's just our sales tax that's payable, okay? So it does say Fragile Handle with Care. It's it, There's the company logo, Craft Optics. It's all one word if you want to look it up online. Um, okay, so it was shipped by USPS and tracked so I've been I've been tracking this ever since I ordered it okay so it comes again in a in the box wrapped in bubble wrap so okay so we'll just open up the bubble wrap and then it comes again in another plastic bag again I'm gonna try this again so they've stop with the weed trimmer or whatever it is over there hedge trimmer so um, this is a premium package uh, it's um, it's kind of soft to the touch but it is hard okay it's got the branded double zipper and it's got the um, raised craft optics logo here on the front of the case as well all right so then you open it up and the case has this uh, foam, sponge foam on the top. And then there is this sponge, uh, very hard sponge foam uh, inside the case here. And it comes just like this. So the first thing that you see is this business card type thing which I'm just giving you a moment to read. There's the website, www.craftoptics.com. Okay. So then what do you get in the package? So I'll show you the less interesting stuff first. You do get the plug-in charger. You get a USB to micro US, or I can't remember what that is. I can't remember if that's micro USB. I, anyway, it's a regular USB charger. So you plug this in here, and then you can connect this to either the wall charger or your laptop, and you can charge it, okay? Uh, so that allows you to charge the battery pack, which once again is uh, branded by Craft Optics, and this it's called Dream Beam, and that um, relates to the light that is on the glasses themselves. So we'll just remove this and now I'm going to show you the glasses themselves. Actually I'm going to take this, you don't need 
we don't need that box underneath it. Okay, so here's what you get. You get prescription glasses with um, magnifiers that are attached. You can flip the magnifiers up out of the way and I'll show you on me in a little while. Uh, and then there's a light here as well, which uh, I will show you in a moment. Well, I'll show you right now. Okay, so f to see the light work, we just plug in the USB here. We press the button here, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's some lights, some LED lights here, okay? Um, I don't know if you can, I think you can see that. Okay, so that means that there's power. And then on this right here, there's a little push button. And you can now see the light. Uh, can you see the light? Yes, you can see the light. Okay, so that is the bright light. And it has two uh, intensities, off, on and low, okay? You also get a glasses cleaning cloth. This is, this is customized because it has my personal prescription in it. And so, um, so it's, it, sh it has the, um, the, the scan for my personal prescription, which uh, happens to be, these are bifocals. So uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but the, the reader, my reader prescription is down below and then my distance prescription is the rest of the glasses, okay? So, um, they said that everything is pre-adjusted except for the distance, the pupillary distance. So people's eye, like the pupils are at different uh, distances from the center of their nose where the glasses rest. So with these little knobs, you can adjust the magnifiers so that they're directly in your line of sight, whatever distance your pupils are. Okay, so as you can see, the magnifiers and the light are built right in to these titanium frames. And you can see where they're screwed in here. They, they have um, stretchy hinges. I can't remember what you call those, but they actually allow the hinges to bend out. The light, which is an option, uh, clips on to the arm of the glasses, okay? I suppose you could clip it to the other arm of the glasses if you prefer that. I'm fine with it where it is. And the glasses also come with um, the, the lanyard to, to keep it on your head. Okay, so that is the glasses. Now I'm going to take these back inside and I'm going to set myself up uh, to, do, to work on the diamond painting that I've got and I'll show you how I put the glasses on and how they work for me, okay? Okay, so I'm set up. This is where I've been diamond painting at my dad's place since I got here uh, about a month ago. And um, I'm going to show you my before solution for my diamond painting. So um, it's a three part solution. So the first thing are the magnifying lenses that I had bought on AliExpress. And uh, I don't know, this might be like the 2X magnifier. I don't know, whatever. So um, now this does have a built in light but I just found it was way too heavy with the batteries in it. And also, I don't like using up all those batteries. So I didn't use the batteries for the light in the glasses. Um, but this is what I looked like. But I needed a lighting solution. In comes what I, uh, I bought these also on AliExpress and they are lead goal lead glow, lead, lead glow, whatever. Um, and I can't remember if I had put a link to these in my original, I don't know if I did an unboxing for these. So I'll put the link to these down below because you might find these are useful. These are actually like book lights. You wear them around your neck, 
you angle them down at your book and then you can read in the dark, okay? I found that angling them around my neck, they didn't actually point at what I wanted them to point at. So this was my solution. First, my solution was, I'm wearing a ponytail. I would stick it through my ponytail. Whoop. Yes, very awkward. And then I would stick them like this and angle it so that when I was hunched over my diamond painting, it was lit up. And so the second light at the back was kind of useless. And so what I was finding was every time if I moved, they would fall or they would go. Anyway, so I had to stay perfectly still and, you know, poise and grace and all that stuff. Pretty funny when you're thinking about this. It's anything but poise and grace, right? So then I thought, wait a minute. I brought a baseball cap for when it rains to wear under my, oh, I'll just turn that off for now. I brought a baseball cap. So then my second solution was this. And I would actually hold my lights in place with my baseball cap. Don't I look elegant? Isn't this nice? Wouldn't you like to be seen like this by your neighbors, friends, loved one? You know, um, yeah, right? Anyway, uh, so this was, my, this was my solution. And now I'm gonna angle the video camera down a little bit so that you can see my workspace. Okay, so this is what I'm working on right now. And I would have to get down really close. Okay, I can't show you me and Okay, I'd have to get down really close to be able to have the magnifiers at the proper distance that I could actually see the canvas clearly. And then I'd have to, you know, mess with the light. I mean, I could use both lights. I tried to save the battery by only using one light. Anyway, uh, so then I'd have the light on and uh, I was hunched over. Trust me, my back was not loving this whole setup. So, just pull this up again. All right, so I had signed up for emails from Craft Optics. Got an email from Craft Optics and they were offering their refurbished eyeglasses and magnifiers with the light. They call it a dream beam. They were offering it for 25% off. And I thought, that's the best deal I'm going to get. Um, and so it cost me, I think, about $600 US. Um, that includes a prescription. If you don't need a prescription in the glasses, it's cheaper. I don't know how much cheaper. Um, I was here in London when I got that email, so I didn't happen to have my prescription with me. Um, I had just been to the eye doctor uh, a couple of weeks before. And so they allow you to just give them your um, optometrist's phone number and e like contact information, and they'll contact your optometrist and get the uh, prescription that you need directly from them. So that's what I did. I signed my name on electronically on their uh, order form. And uh, they called me, or they got in touch with me two days later to say that um, my glasses were being made. Um, and so uh, then it was just a case of waiting for them to be finished and shipped to me. Now, I had, when I came here, I didn't expect that I would be here for a really long time. And so I had originally set the shipping address to my home in Ottawa. And, um, and then I realized I'm gonna be here for a while. So I got in touch with them over the Labor Day weekend and requested that they uh, ship them to me here in London, Ontario. I was very surprised when on the Sunday, I think it was, of the Labor Day weekend, Jeff, the president of the company, emailed me back to say, we're closed for the long weekend, but be assured that somebody will be in touch with you on Tuesday morning and we'll sort out your issue. So um, I did get a call or I got another email on Tuesday from, um, 
I think it's the woman, the sales manager. I don't know. Anyway, and she said, no problem. We'll ship them to the address that you want. And, uh, and that's all good. And then I got notification a few days later that, uh, that it had been shipped with the tracking number. Okay. So let's see how these things work. Okay. So I'm just getting out the kit. I didn't put them neatly back into the box to carry them in from outside. Um, so I've already got the, um, the cord plugged in to the, char uh, to the um, battery pack. If you want to get a second battery pack, I think they're $50 US, which is not unreasonable. They're supposed to be 13 hours battery life. So uh, that's pretty good. And like I say, they just, it just slides in there nice and easy. I always have trouble figuring out which side is up with USB cords, but anyway. Um, okay, so I just pull off the, the little doohickey that uh, holds that together. And then you've got this cord that is, I don't know, uh, about a meter long, 100 centimeters, uh, 100 centimeters or so. All right, I already tried all this before, so I'm not doing this for the first time, uh, but this is the second time that I'm doing this. So, first thing, put the glasses on. Okay. And um, Craft Optics has a fairly uh, complete video library on their website, and they teach it's how to do everything, okay? So they tell you how to adjust the, the, the nose piece here. Uh, it's not like you would adjust normal glasses, so it's worth it if you do decide to buy these to check out the um, to check out their website and watch the video for how to uh, to fit to make sure it fits on your nose. And unlike readers, you don't wear these down low on your nose; you wear them up close to your eyes. Okay, that's where you're going to get the best view. And uh, and as I mentioned, you can flip up the magnifiers if you want to. Otherwise, you can adjust them uh, for whatever the proper angle will be to read them. Now, to keep them on my head, I'm going to adjust the lanyard. It's just a slider here. I'm going to adjust that lanyard so that it's pushed up against the back of my head. The glasses will not slide down off my nose. I don't have to fuss with the, with the uh, bridge because um, I don't... I don't want to take a, a chance of weakening the metal, uh, so I'm happy just to let it sit. It's comfortable. In fact, I can barely feel it, even though there's this fairly, it's not very heavy, but um, there is weight on the glasses because of the magnifiers and the light, but that does not make it at all uncomfortable. And because of the way that they've designed the nose piece, I'm not going to get a uh, those red circles from the pads of the eyeglasses on my nose because there's actually, it's a different setup that they have and uh, it hangs on your nose as opposed to sitting on your nose. So um, I'll link the, the video down below so that you can see what I'm talking about because I'm afraid I'm not explaining it all that well. Okay, so I've got this on. They uh, attach a little clip here already attached to the uh, arm of the glasses so what you do is you just clip this wire to your clothing you wear this down back behind you and the battery pack has a belt clip on it okay so most of us are wearing trousers I mean you could you could clip it to the neck of a dress or something like that if you're wearing a dress or overalls or whatever okay and then you turn on, there's, well, I'll just show you. There is a little on button here that you press. I, I think I showed it to you outside. Then you see the LEDs light up there. So that means that the battery pack is on. Clip it to your pants or your dress or whatever. And then here, there's a little button. You press that button and that's how you control the brightness of the light on your glasses. So you can press it once for low, no, once for high, twice for low, and the third time for off. Okay, so um, now 
I'm gonna angle this down a little bit. So before, I had to get down like this to be able to see my diamond painting. And as you can see, I'm hunched. I'm not at a good uh, ergonomic posture at all. And I was starting to feel that. I'm gonna turn off the, uh, the light here. Um, I was not at an ergono a good ergonomic um, positioning and I was having problems in my shoulders uh, and I was feeling tight, okay? Craft optics are made so that you can uh, do your work from uh, the average distance is 14 to 16 inches. Uh, so you can actually stand, sit upright and see clearly without having to, you know, bend over and roll your back over. Um, they allow, they have three distances. There's close distance, like if you're working on something, you know, jewelry making or something, you might want to uh, work at a closer distance than 14 to 16 inches. The average is the 14 to 16 inches. And then there's a longer distance if you're, I don't know, I don't know what you would do that you would be at arm's length. Their website tells you how to order the, the distance. Um, but they said that the um, average distance for your work worked for most people. So I decided they're the experts. That's what I'm gonna go with. So here I am, I'm gonna, um, I can't really get the diamond painting into view, unfortunately, just because of my setup. But, yeah, no. Um, but I can, with these glasses, I've got my back straight, and I can see clearly now. Um, it might take me a little while to get used to sitting upright and straight because, you know, I've been hunching over my work for some time. Um, but that is one of the other reasons that I wanted these glasses and that it was worth the investment for me. I talk frequently about the importance of maintaining good ergonomic positioning and to avoid pain in your back, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, etc., cetera, uh, your neck, whatever. And, uh, and so I wanted to, I wanted to walk the walk and I figured I would, uh, be happy with the investment if it meant that I had a healthier body posture. Okay, so essentially that's it. I wanted to show you these glasses. I wanted to um, let you know I'm excited about trying them out and using them. Uh, I'm working on, I'll show you what I'm working on right now. It is a pomegranate. Uh, I'm about four fifths done, I'd say, and pretty happy with it. This will hang in my kitchen when it's done. Um, and so I've done most of it from a distance of about, I don't know, eight inches. Now I'm going to do the rest of it from a considerably longer distance with my body upright. And um, I'll be doing other diamond paintings. And so I will let you know from time to time how I'm liking these glasses. But for now, I just wanted to show you. I hope you enjoy this and uh, let me know what you think down below. So I wanna thank all of my viewers and all of my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, this would be a great time for you to click that subscribe button and you can also ring the bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, you know I love your comments, so do please leave me your comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think of these glasses. Let me know what you think of the, the crazy, you know, horned devil look that I was uh, sporting before. Um, maybe that works for you. I mean, you know, it worked okay. It wasn't great. I think I'm going to like this a lot better. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it, I also want to thank my Patreon patrons uh, for supporting me and my craft and my channel. Um, so thanks very much. Um, and I will be back to you again very soon with some new videos. Take care. Bye-bye.